Now, we may have evolved from apes, but it seems we haven't learnt, don't look at me like that, much from them. <laughs> We've learnt a little bit, haven't we? Well, look, you be the judge. For example, believe it or not, we've apparently all been eating bananas the wrong way. The what? right way, apparently, is sort of, you know, like this or something. To talk us through this and other so-called food hacks, we're joined by food writer Danny Vellant. Danny, good morning. Good morning. What do apes and food hackers have in common? Well, I'm here as a representative of the monkey kingdom to tell you that, yes, we have been doing it all wrong. So food hacks is basically ways to make our food lives easier. It seems to often be to do with not touching food or touching it in a different way. There are, I think, I've sort of put it into three categories. There are peeling things, cutting things and bacon. That's bacon. the three. <laughs> You've said the magic word right <laughs> I at the know, very end But there. I haven't brought any in, so I'm sorry <laughs> about that. I think if you add cats and you've basically got the whole internet covered. But uh, we can start with bananas. So how, you know, I think most of us have been told or we've just absorbed the knowledge that you peel a banana like this, yes. but no. Monkeys are telling us that um, we should be doing it from this end. Oh, right. So because you don't, if you do it this way, you squ uh, squish it, bruise it, but from this end... It comes. It wants to come apart very oh, easily, it does like too. this. No bruising. An absolutely intact banana tip and a handy handle. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Why didn't we think of that? I don't, I don't pretty know. easily from the other end as well. No, though. no, no, no. <laughs> no Danny says it does squish a bit. When you think about it, you've got to sometimes twist the stem to try yes. to. Or, or sometimes even cut it with your teeth yeah. just to kind of to break it. And you yeah. get a squishy banana. There you go. And that's a, so, such a waste of food. Exactly. So, so we're not descended from the apes. There's no consensus on that science, by the way. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, so um, I'm going to continue to improve your lives bacon. by teaching you bacon. how to... No, I'm sorry, there's no bacon. we have to forget that I said that word. How, how many days of your life have you spent peeling boiled eggs? I know, right? I peeled two this morning. There you go. This is turning into one of those infomercials for, for <laughs> damn gadgets, isn't it? I'm getting a real late night feel about this no, discussion. No, there are no gadgets here. Okay. There are no gadgets. So I'm, I'm, right. not, I'm not selling water, I'm not selling jars, yep. nor am I selling eggs. I'm just selling the, the idea. steak knives? Uh, not yet, but we will talk about steak in a minute. Would you uh, just vigorously, I've got one for each of you, if you shake this, it, it will hopefully this, this is peel. A hard, this is a hard boiled egg. This is a hard boiled egg. And, so and give the water's going to spray everywhere? Is no, no, no. There's no. Uh, uh, there's no jokes to this. This is serious business and science. Okay. Well, Keep I, mine's broken up a bit. Yep. Should all the shell just come off? The shell will uh, will now. Yeah, just now you should be able to just slip oh, it off. Yeah. I think you know. Maybe give it a couple. What? See how you go. Maybe one shake. Is that it. Enough? Really vigorous shaking. Uh, a bit more vigorous and. <laughs> this is it. And this is your workout as well, so no, ex no exercise wow. needed. Okay, Michael, I think you'll be able to slip yours off now. So just go in there and just put, uh, take the shell away and you'll have a beautiful... And now the studio smells of boiled egg. So either you've got a Nothing perfectly peeled egg or a strange protein shake. Oh, it's still got a few there you go. bits of shell on You're it. missing the shot here, guys. Back here. We're peeling. <laughs> Oi. No, we had the shot here. Here we go. Yet. There you go. Oh, look. Now this one's, this one's sort of coming off pretty much as you would expect yeah. a peeled egg to come off though. No, no. That's much, much easier. Are these edible? How, how, how fresh are these eggs? Uh, they were boiled last night, okay, so okay. they're very, very fresh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Um, you're welcome. No worries at all. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. No, this is actually... It's a very nice egg. Good. That's fantastic. It's um, or organic and free range and all oh, good wow. things. So peeling ginger with a teaspoon is another one. So ginger actually is hard to peel, unlike, you know, bananas perhaps. Uh, so we can just... Uh, if we just scrape away at the skin with a teaspoon, much yep. easier, and we don't lose centimetres. Why oh, is that easier ginger? than the, peeling the, it with a knife? The scent of ginger, beautiful. <laughs> How do you peel your ginger? <laughs> with a knife. It's so old fashioned. <laughs> yeah. This is this so is retro. With a little paring knife, and it just comes off really easy. No, but no this comes off really easily there you as go. well. No? Okay. That's a food Maybe hack. I can lure Danny, you. Danny, you're just, you're just a sucker for stuff on the internet, aren't you? Uh, no, no, not at all. No, you got, no, you, you, you've no. Got, you've got the right clickbait sort of like addicted. Oh, click, click, no, click. no, in me it's just typing serious words. That's me <laughs> all day, every day. <laughs> no, no. What else have you got for me? Come on. Uh, so let's talk about steak. Okay. okay, yes, please. Serious okay. business. So this is a, a food hack about how to tell the doneness of steak using your bare hands. Mm -hmm. So we, we hold out one hand and we press here. <laughs> that's not a food hack. That's been known for a million years. Mm. No, it's a food hack. Okay. <laughs> I believe you, Danny. Knock Get us going. out, Danny. So, raw, rare, medium rare. Yeah. Medium. Yeah. See how your thumb pad is getting yeah. firmer as you go, oh, I know. I didn't know this. Did well you? done. All right. So you can just poke here. Like, how do you like your steak? Uh, medium. Medium. Okay. So, raw, 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 and then 
There are a thousand chefs watching this this morning going, Danny Vallon, you did not just invent that. I'm not saying I invented it. I'm just, well, listen, I'm just I didn't sharing know it. I'm sure it. lots of people didn't know it out there either. So. All right. Do you peel garlic? Uh, which, how do you peel garlic? No, what I do is I actually put the whole... Well, usually I just smash it and then it just falls off. But um, the easier way now I've found is just to actually put it in my garlic press, yep. leave it with the skin on and just press it through and it just yeah. goes through. That's pretty good. And, and the then there's, there's not much washing yeah. up to do. Yeah. No. So this is one that I actually haven't had much success with, so I'm not sure. If, I, if I'm shaking it wrong or is if this my garlic is in the jar thing? Is, any, is anyone up for shaking garlic sure. in the jar? Because see if it peels. I, as someone that I really trust told me that this is the way to peel garlic. Smash! <laughs> Italian <laughs> style. No, <don't> <laughs> Italian style. All right. That's a nice smell. All right. Mm. There's no way that's going to. You want that to actually come off, do you? What do you think I'm going to do with this? Oh, oh. God. <laughs> I don't know, but get the hell away from me. How about that? What about cutting this could food get with quite dental floss? Now. So you know how. You know how it's ruined your life many times when you've had to cut a cake with a knife? Yep. Dental floss. Yeah. So straight through, clean layers. Yes. Oh. I know. See, Michael loves these like things. You, like, your che love like your, you know, the wire cheese cut. Sort of a similar concept. Yeah, I've only ever used a knife. Uh, now you're yeah. talking. So I'm, I'm going to bring out the chocolate. <laughs> so I, like, I left a sausage roll in the fridge over the weekend. I was away. Why did you bring the sausage I, roll? Because I put a, I wrote on the bag, do not eat. But someone misread that as please eat. Oh, so right. instead, no, it's a sausage roll after all. It's, no yeah, it's, easy, it's easily confusable. So that you phrase. know how it's really hard to cut chocolate bars? Yeah, and yeah, spend, yeah. So do you want to make the pull on, pull on an end and we can... Tug of war. And that's going to fall in my lap, right? Oh. Hey, yeah, on my how neat is that? On my toe. <laughs> that's, that's, your, that's your bit, Virginia. Yeah, cl yeah, truly. <laughs> that is actually really clean. That would never have happened with a knife. Can I just test how clean it is? Sure. He's not going to be able to talk now for the rest of the show. <laughs> He's now got a mouthful well, of... It's really straight mm, cut. It yeah. wasn't jagged at no, all. No, beautiful. Mm. I'm going to leave you with one more, yes. which I'm not going to demonstrate. But if you get some salad leaves, apparently if you blow into the bag and sort of aerate the bag, then seal it, uh, they stay much fresher. Possibly more germy, but fresher. Fresher than extracting the air? Yes, with salad mm. leaves, yes. Mm. So um, extracting air does definitely keeps some things fresh, yep. but salad leaves, they want to be um, they want to be nice and buoyant. Danny, you're one of the weirdest people I know. Thanks for Thank joining you. us today. Thank you. <laughs>